Jason. An outbreak of a deadly horse virus forces organizers to cancel a historic trek from Yosemite to Mariposa. The equine herpes virus is also prompting valley horse owners to take extra precautions to keep their horses from getting it. KMPH News reporter Norma Yuriar is in Northeast Fresno. So, Norma, is this killer virus very contagious for horses, and is it any kind of danger to people? Well, Monty, first, let me just tell you that the horses here are gorgeous. Take a look at the one behind me. And thankfully, if I was close enough, I can actually still pet that horse. And that's because I cannot get the horse virus. It's not a threat to humans. And here tonight, no outside horses can come in to the Fresno State Equine Lab. That's because the highly contagious virus can spread fast among horses. That's the sound of a healthy horse. Unfortunately, five others in the Central Valley have tested positive for a deadly horse virus. The recent outbreak is forcing the quarter horse unit at Fresno State to keep their horses in isolation. Like these horses, you know, they're always in the same same pen or whatever in the same area. Well, if you bring in outside horses, that's when you're going to have problems. Symptoms include fever, sneezing, and staggering. The usual equine herpes virus can cause spontaneous abortion so we'd worry about that because we have like six mares right now in full so we'd worry about that and them aborting those fetuses. Five confirmed cases of EHV1 are in the valley, two in Kern County and three in Stanislaus County. No confirmed cases in Fresno County, but the Fresno Police Department's mounted patrol unit isn't taking any chances. We have uh, 10 horses all together that, that are Fresno Police horses, so if one gets it, it's just a matter of time for they all get it and that could be devastating to the unit. The virus is highly contagious to horses, not to humans. I love them. Uh, you get to pet them. You usually don't get to do that. That's because these horses are healthy, but in Mariposa County, the horseback riding portion of the 36th annual Pioneer Wagon Trail is now canceled due to an outbreak of the EVH1 virus. Back at the equine lab at Fresno State, the deadly virus is affecting this weekend's horse preview sale. So we're just going to make sure that people who come here aren't sick or don't have any horses that are sick at home just to be safe. The equestrian team here at Fresno State is also making sure that they change their clothes and their shoes, uh, you know, before they leave this uh, facility and go to another ranch. This is an extra precaution to keep the disease from possibly spreading. Reporting live in Northeast Fresno, Norma Uriar, KMPH News. All right, once again, Norma, to be clear that this virus poses no threat to humans. It just can be spread by humans to other horses. Is that correct? That's right, Monty. You know, that's why you saw a lot of the children petting the horses today. Granted, a lot of the horses uh, that you saw in our stories are all healthy, but no, the only way that a human can spread it, uh, the virus to another horse is if I touch a horse that's infected, don't wash my hands, go to another ranch, and then touch the horse. That's how the virus can spread, and that's why students here are making sure that they're changing their clothes and their shoes when they live, uh, leave this facility. All right, thank you, Norma. And infected horses usually get sick between 2 to 14 days after they're exposed to the virus. It's basically spread by horse-to-horse, -horse, mostly contact.